what's up guys it's your boy Damone and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video today's topic of conversation is how to get free primo gems that's right free primo gems no I'm not talking about the uh, the promo codes that were recently released but I'm talking about how to get free primo gems in the game we're gonna list quite a few ways that you guys can farm primo gems literally in the game for free um, if you guys are looking to get these primo gems in order to prep for version 1.1 or if you guys are looking just to hoard these and or just summon right away. So without further ado guys, let's go ahead and dive on in. So the first way to do this guys is going to be with chests, right? You guys know this by now that if you guys open chests, chances are uh, you might get some primo gems after you open them, especially the ones that are sealed uh, like you guys can see here. Now the amount of primo gems that comes out of chest pretty much varies from amount of 2 to 10. In some cases if you guys are opening the shrines of the depths here that you guys can see normally these are lit up if you guys haven't opened them yet. But these are a great source for free primo gems in the game. Another way is to follow the spirits. These little spirits that you guys will find in the world will typically lead you to treasure and in that treasure will also contain more primo gems. If you guys have been wondering what the hell to do with these balloon plants, this is also another way that you guys can get Primo Gems, and all you have to do is shoot these balloons, or activate the balloon, shoot the balloons out of the sky, and boom, chest. And when you open the chest, it will have Primo Gems in here as well. Next up we have challenges, and with these challenges also spawn a chest. Now these challenges vary from time trials, to getting to a certain location quickly, to shooting explosive barrels, to just killing a bunch of enemies. But when you open these, you guys will net primo gems as well. And speaking of challenges, if you guys happen to find this NPC in the world here, she offers time trial challenges, as you can complete up to three times, which give you a upgraded chest each time, from common to regular to exquisite. Um, this is a nice way to get some quick XP and primo gems as well. This is the location here for her for this challenge, here on the top of the mountain in Mingyun Village. She also appears here at the top of the mountain over here. And there's another one of her right here in this location, northeast of Mount Auzing. If you guys have seen her anywhere else other than those three locations, let us know in the comment box so we can help people do all these time trial challenges. Now, another way that you might have missed that I always forget or often forget about, which also come in the form of trials and they are all over the map, are going to be these trials. Trials of Scorching and Fire Raging Lightning, I'm not able to show you guys the rewards because I've already completed them, but these offer a significant amount of rewards. Now keep in mind these trials are indicated on your map by this shape with a square in the middle, kind of like a diamond, I guess. And then when you look at these, they're literally all over and they are level capped. So you'll only be able to complete these trials at a specific level. But once you see them and you unlock them, you'll be able to do them one time and they give you a lot of rewards. To give you guys an idea, you guys can see one that I get to do at 35. This one gets 40 Primo Gems, 500 Adventure Rank XP, my last Leo key, and then some 4-star gear. And since we're on the topic of conversation when we're talking about dungeons as, as well anyway, every time you unlock a dungeon, you get some Primo Gems as well. So if you guys haven't unlocked the dungeons on the map, please feel free to do so. Also, speaking of unlocking, for every waypoint that you unlock on the map, as well as the Statues of the Seven, you will also get Adventure XP and you will also get Primo Gems here too. Now we're going to skip over the most obvious way, which is quests and story quests, because you guys know you guys can get Primo Gems from there. Abyss, you guys know you can get crystals from Abyss, but I want to talk to you guys about how Abyss works so you guys can understand how this whole structure is, because I know there's been a lot of talk about how the new system works for Spiral Abyss. So with Spiral abyss the first eight floors do not reset however the abyss does reset every two weeks so with that once you guys get past floor eight you unlock the spire which is however many floors they intend on adding here before the rewards for floor one to eight you get 100 primo gems per chamber so as you clear floor one through eight you get 300 primo gems per floor bringing you to a grand total of 2400 primo gems just for knocking this out once you get to floor 9 through 12, it's only 150 Primo Gems per floor, which brings you a grand total to 600 until they add more floors. So every two weeks, you get 600 free Primo Gems. It's 1,200 free Primo Gems a month to add on top of your collection. And for those of you guys who haven't visited the Adventurer's Guild yet, please make sure you do that and get your Adventurer's Book. For your daily quests every day, you get a grand total of 60 Primo Gems just for knocking out your dailies and turning in your full commission reward. And last but not least, guys, as we get into this and get ready to do our dailies for the day, brings us to the last thing of achievements. 
So if you guys haven't been paying attention to your achievement checklist or your achievement list, please make sure you guys go through this and look at this because a lot of these are tiered. And after you finish a page, they go to a next page. Or if you finish gathering a certain amount of treasure chests, it goes to the next tier of gathering and you can get a considerable amount of Primo gems here. So from what I understand, those are all of the ways that I can think of off the top of my head outside of doing quests and secret quests and missions and stuff like that. If you guys know of other ways to get more Primo gems, definitely, definitely, definitely let us know in the comment box below. Uh, so that way we can add them. And of course, as a community, we can grow and find more ways to get more summons and or refreshes or whatever poison we choose. But with that being said, guys, uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, this is your boy, Damone, and we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.